Part 2 The War Games Episode 10 Outside the TARDIS Sorry, what's happening, Doctor? I can hardly move, Jamie. It's a false field. Concentrate. We must be able to break through. A TARDIS may be able to break through the false field. A TARDIS materialises. dematerializes. They move at normal speed again. Jamie. Well, what was happening? Why is it difficult? so difficult to move? Doctor, it was the Time Lords. Zoe, but you're, they're your own people, aren't they, Doctor? Doctor, yes, you're, that's right. Jamie, why did they run away from them? Why did you run away from them in the first place? Doctor, what? Well, I was bored. Zoe, what do you mean you were bored? Doctor, well, the Time Lords are immensely civilised race. We can control, we control our own environment. We can live forever, barring accidents. We have the secret of time's space-time travel. Jenny, well, what's so wrong in all that? Doctor, well, we hardly ever use our great powers. We consent simply to observe and gather, to gather knowledge. Zoe, and that was enough for you? Doctor, no, of course not. We have a whole galaxy explore, millions of planets, seasons of time. Civilization, countless civilians, civilizations to meet. Jamie, well, why did they object to you doing all that? Doctor, well, it's a fact, Jamie. I tend to get involved with things. Jamie, I, you can say that again. Whatever there's tr- any trouble, he's right up in his, ne- his neck. Sorry, you can't, you're, you've helped people, Doctor. Doctor, yes, but there's no excuse in their, in their eyes. Jamie, well then, what are we, we going to do? Doctor, we're going to run away. I've set the controls to take us to the planet on the utmost fringes of the galaxy. Jamie, ah, in that case, he'll probably land us well. Land up right in their laps. The artist did materialise this. Sorry, we can't be landing already. Doctor, no, well, it's impossible. The TARDIS is dropping through the air. The sea, it lands with a gentle plop. Jamie, ah, it's a sea. Jamie, sorry. Ah, well, don't worry, Jamie. We, we know the TARDIS can't sink. Jamie, oh, can't it look? The scanner's looking straight at a coral reef. Sorry, oh, what can we do? A chart will swim by. A shark swims by. Jamie, look out. Doctor, is all right. It can't possibly harm us. A type of neutralization noise. Sounds the TARDIS shakes. Jamie, I'm not so sure. Doctor, we're perfectly safe in the TARDIS. Doctor. Sorry, Doctor. Water is dripping onto control. Doctor, oh my word, it's the Time Lords. They're breaking down the defence mechanism. We've got to get rid of, out of here. Sorry, where can we go? Doctor, well, I know one place that we're, where we'd be safe. If I can... Get us there. Doctor relocates a TARDIS. Jamie, where are we? Jamie, Doctor, we're in outer space. we we'll just stop here for a while. There's a chance we may have given them a slip. A gentle, reasonable voice fills the TARDIS, the Time Lord. Oh, see, there is no escape, Doctor. Return to this TARDIS immediately to your home planet, Doctor. Why can't you leave me alone? I haven't done you any harm, Time Lord. Oh, see, you've broken all your laws. You must face your trial, Dame. Jamie, trial, Time Lord. Oh, see, you do better to return to your own accord. Doctor, oh, very well, if I must. Doctor, Zoe, Doctor, what on earth are you doing? Doctor, I'm trying to make a quick transference jump. Where well, we've got to get away from here to somewhere safe. We're landing. The scanner shows the navigators. Do- Doctor, oh no, Jamie, is that what you call somewhere safe? The trio are thrown to the floor. Sorry, oh, it's shaking itself to pieces. Do- Jamie, yeah, you must could be all killed. Sorry, Doctor, you can't. You introduce a power drive, Doctor. I'll take. I'll try on the controls. They're moving by themselves. Everything, everything settles down again. Jamie, now where are we? Zoe, oh, let's see on the monitor. Jamie, oh, it's broken. Zoe, no, I don't think so. Suddenly the picture revolves in itself into a long current chain of filled with silhouettes along the one wall. Time, Lord O.C., you returned to uh, you have returned to us, Doctor. Your travels are over, Doctor. It's my, it's my own planet. They have brought us here. Jamie, you can't get... Can't we get away again? Doctor, no, no, not this time. Come along. Siri at bay. A man with long robe is waiting for them. Time or two, come with me. Jamie, but... Now, just a moment. What are you going... What's going on around here? Jamie, Doctor. As... 
Jack, Dr. Jamie, do as he says. Say, tidal, rival, co- trial, court chamber. The yeah, lady in the warlord is ready there, and Time Lord's join the uh, two others. Time Lord 2, the witness has arrived. Witnesses have arrived. Time Lord, let them stand aside until they are needed. Continue the trial. Lord 3, in every one of these time zones, thousands of human beings fought and died in the belief you are on their own planet. The survivors are now being returned to their own times on the planet Earth. But by the death toll is up beyond counting. Their lives are squandered by the course of vicious and diabolical scheme, creating control of the tiny Zanet galaxy. A scheme originally in divide by a race which had accused the leader. It was highly an organized scheme with an orderly callous guard. All the lives of humans involved the liberties of the other species in the galaxy, which the accused could have dominated with tyranny. If it's suited to scheme, brutal methods of mental processing were used, which entirely contravened with the galactic laws. I have now called upon a member of my own race to sort this evil matter out, and then there will be commence a breeding of the witness report. A witness is called. Have you? St- will you step forward, please? Over and above statement, Doctor is explaining. Doctor and the Time Lords holding a trial is very rare invent. James, only why, Doctor, well, know me. They don't interfere with the affairs of the planets. They, but they had to when I, I called for help. Jamie, well, look, can't we get away, Doctor? Well, you and Zummy may, but I can't, I don't think I will. Time Lord is free. You will step forward, please. Time Doctor, oh, I beg your pardon, Time Lord free. We see your statement. You do you swear to the truth of your report? Doctor, anything in the report is the result of my direct personal observation. Joe Diamond Lord Free. Who is that person, Doctor? That is the Time Warlord, Do- Time Lord Free. Does the accused have anything to say, Time Lord? You must speak in, in your defence. Time Lord 2, the trial cannot proceed unless you do. Tri- tri- Lord Free. Time Lord 2, the child cannot proceed unless you do. Time Lord 3, you must speak. Doctor, can't you see? You're just playing for time. Doctor 3, don't, do not make me ask me to force you to speak. I do not. Time Lord 3, we do not make us false. We, do, we cannot make, for, make us false. Time Lord 3, don't. Does the accused have anything to say? Time Lord, you must speak into defence. Doctor, the Time Lord's withholding of the trial is a very rare event. Do- Sorry, why? Doctor, well, normally they don't interfere with affairs of the other planets. They had to, to when I called for help. So, well, look, can't we get away, Doctor? Well, you and Zoe can't, me, but I can't. Don't think I will. Title three. Will you step forward, please, Doctor? Oh, no. I beg your pardon. Do- Title three. We have seen your statement. Do you swear to truth for your report? Doctor, everything in that report is the result of my per- direct personal observation. Time Lord, who is this, that person? Doctor, that is the Warlord. Time, Time Lord Free. Does the accused have anything to say? Time Lord, you must speak in your defence. Time Lord 2, the trial cannot proceed unless you do. Time Lord Free, you mu- must speak, Doctor. Can't you see he's just playing for time? Time Lord, do not make us false, you speak. We have not cause for your unnecessary pain. Very well, the Time Lord widens his eyes and suddenly the Warlord falls into his knees, screaming and clutching his head. Time Lord, stop it. Stop the light fight. Night, Time Lord, free, you must speak. Time Lord, yes, Time Lord, free, do you admit the charge at which you have been accused? Warlord, I do not even admit the authority, no, I do not even admit the authority of this cult. Time Lord, have you anything to say to in your defence? Warlord, the humans who died the war games have been, well, would have been killed each other way. Well, Lord, yes. The members of your own race agreed with me. A war chief has, himself was a time lord. And the knowledge he brought me made a whole poss- scheme possible. And uh, other, other your time lords gave uh, give me his support.
Doctor, I never suppose your scheme. I never supposed your scheme for one moment, Time Lord. Warlord, you collaborated with my war chief. If I am guilty, then you are guilty too. Meanwhile, two men are inside at Twilardis, working a console. One goes out to investigate the sound of materialization. And, uh, and, it, and it is gunned down by two warlords. Guards, the two, two of them. Second then comes out. It's also killed. It's total of six guards. Move off, Time Lord. We can find you guilty in all charges. Against you, your attempt to consecrate others is obvious fraud. Doctor, oh good, I'm glad to see you sense the justice rule still prevails. Even now, I, they've, they've thought you lose this. Uh, Oh, Lord, you collaborated with my war chief. Now, if you're guilty, you're guilty too. Meanwhile, two men are inside the TARDIS, working a console. One goes to investigate the sound of materialization. I lost my place again now. Time trial, train, trial train, but the dot, they lay a lead in. Lord, we're already there. A Time Lord joins two others. Time Lord two. Witness have arrived. Time Lord, let them stand aside. They are needed. Continue with the trial. Time Lord freed in every one of these time zones. Thousands of human beings fought and died to believe they were. On their own planet, the survivors have been all returned to their own times in the planet Earth. But a dove roll is beyond counting. Their lives were squandered in the course of vicious and diabolical scheme to control the whole entire galaxy. A scheme we originated and devised by a race which accused as the leader. It was a highly organized scheme with a very utterly cautious disregard for the lives of humans beyond the liberties of all other species of galaxy which the accused would have dominated with eternity. I will now call upon a member of your own race to sort this evil matter out. They will commence in reading the witness report. The witness has called. Will you step forward, please? Over the above the statement. The doctor is explaining. Doctor, the time laws holding a time trial is holding a trial is a very rare event. Sorry, why? Doctor, well, normally they don't interfere with the affairs of the other planets. But it had to when I called for help. Jay, well, look. Can't we go it away? Doctor, well, you and Zoe may, but I can't. I will. Don't think I will. Time Lord, free. A step forward, please. Doctor, oh, well. Ah, uh, I beg your pardon. Time Lord, free, we have seen your statement. Do you swear to the truth of your report? Doctor, everything is in, in that report is a result of my personal observation. Time Lord, free. Who is that person, Doctor? This, that is the warlord. Time Lord Free, does the accused have anything to say? Time Lord, you must speak in your defence, Time Lord too. The trial cannot proceed unless you do so. Time Lord Free, you must speak, Doctor. Can't see just paying for time. Time Lord Free, do not make us force you to speak. We will not cause you unnecessary pain. Very well, Time Lord. Widens his eyes and suddenly the warlord falls to his knees, screaming, clutching his head. Warlord, stop, stop that light. Time Lord. Free, you must speak. The warlord, yes. Warlord, time lord, free. Do you admit the charges with which you've been accused? Warlord, I do not even admit the authority in this court. Time lord, have you anything to say in your defence, warlord? Humans who died in your war games would have killed each other anyway. Time lord, is your plea that the end justifies the means? Warlord, yes, it is. The members of your own race agree with me. Well, my war chief is himself as a time lord, and the knowledge he brought me made the whole scheme possible. And ever your time lords gave me support. Doctor, I never supported your scheme for one moment, warlord. You collaborated with my war chief. If I am guilty, you are guilty too. Meanwhile, two men are inside the TARDIS working for the consul. One goes out to investigate the sound of neutralization and gunned down by two of the warlord guards. A second then comes out and was also killed. Yet, uh, then a total of six, total of six guards move off. Time Lord, we can fail you, you have, 
We find you guilty of all charges against you. Your attempt to incriminate others is so obvious fraud. Doctor, oh good. I'm glad you see the sense of justice still prevails. Then even though they you lost they've lost their sense of humour. Warlord, you're no authority of me. The guards enter, Warlord, and you're no proud of longer to pass any sentence to take these people. Dodd, oh no. Die me, not again. The doctor and Zoe and Jamie are hassled out. Warlord, and if any attempt that is made to stop us, then I shall kill them instantly, Tom Lord. Let them go. We should not endanger innocent lives. Sirat Bay, the doctor, you'll never get away. The time was are too strong. You don't think I'm going to help you? Warlord, oh yes, you will help us. Doctor, if you want to save the lives of our two friends, and now in the machine, Jamie, look, the TARDIS is no good for you. You can't even steer it properly, Joe Lord. Don't talk rubbish, of course you can steer it. Now into the machine, TARDIS, Warlord. Yes, you shall, shall make as many of these machines. Now get the control panel and take us back to the home planet. Don't know where I can't I tell you. Directional mechanism is faulty. Warlord, you do as I say, or I shall kill the girl. Don't know, but I don't know where your home planet is. Warlord, galactic sector. 9793, then we'll go get the homing signal. Now operate the machine, Doctor. I'll do my best, but I can't promise anything. Zoe, Jamie, hide your eyes, run. I tell this light's a blinding. Warlord, get away and get them after them. Kill them quickly. Syria Bay. Warlord Timmy and Zoe run over to the Time Lords. Warlord, kill them. But a false field stops the guards. Time Lord, free. A false field been placed around you, around your planet, so that you know warlike people remain prisoners forever. You have been found guilty of all charges. You and your murderous associates will, do, will be demutualized. You'll be as though you never existed. Warlord, no, no, no. The warlord and the guards vanish, Jamie. Oh, well, that's an end to them. Well, We'll be on our way. Come on, Doctor. Cheerio. Jamie strolls over to Tardis and straight into the false field. We said it was him and Zoe. Jamie, oh, switch this thing off, Doctor. Jamie, what? You're not going to let us go. Doctor, what? After all you've done for him? Doctor and two Time Lords leave. Jamie, what, what are you going to do to him? Time three. You must stand his trial. You wait here. Zoe, well, we want to go with the Doctor. Let us out. Jamie, come on. Let us out of this thing. Trial Chamber. Time Lords, you have heard the charges against you. You have completely broken our most important law of non-interference of the affairs of other planets. What have you to say? Do you admit these actions? Doctor, I don't know you admit to them. I'm proud of them. Well, you've been content merely to observe the evil in the galaxy. I have been fighting against it. Time Lord 3, it is not we who are on trial here, Doctor. It is you. Doctor, no, of course. You are above criticism, aren't you? Time Lord, do you admit that these actions are justified? Time Doctor, yes, of course I do. Give me your fault channel. I'll show you some of the evils I've been fighting against. The Time Lords nod to each other. Doctor, the quirks, deadly robot servants of cruel dominators. They tried to enslave a peace-loving race. There were the Yeti, more robot killers, instruments of an alien intelligence, trying to take over the planet Earth. Time Lord, free. All oh, this is entirely irrelevant. Doctor, you asked me to justify my actions. I am doing so. Let me show you the wise warriors. Cool Martian invaders. They had tried to conquer the Earth too. So did the Cybermen. Half creature, half machine. The worst of all the Daleks. A pitiless race. Conquerors exterminating all who came up against them. All these evils have fought while you had done nothing. But observe. True, I am guilty of interference. As you are guilty of falling. Failure to use your great powers to help them in need. Those in need, Time Lord. Is that all you have to say, Doctor? Well, isn't that enough? Time Lord, your defence has been heard. Be carefully considered. You have raised difficult issues. We are require time to think about them. We will re- re- you will be recalled when we made our decision. Stuart Bay, Jamie, let us out. Zoe, you want to see the doctor? Let us out of here. The false field is turned off. Time Lord, follow 
Time Lord 2, follow me. So, where are you where are we going? Time Lord 2. We're going to send you home. Back to your own world and your own time. Jamie. Oh no, not without the doctor. Time Lord 2. This is his world. You must stay here. Zoe, what's going to happen to him? Time Lord 2. He's awaiting the result of his trial. Jamie. Aye, I'm not going to... I'm not going to, I'm not going to see him. Zoe, oh please, can't we see the doctor? Time Lord 2. You'll become attached to him. Jerry, aye, we've been through a whole lot, you know. Say, please, let, let us see him. Time Lord 2, come with me, Jamie, aye. Time trial, trial chamber. Doctor's climbing the floor, playing clock patience. Doctor, Jamie, Zoe, Zoe, Doctor. It's stopped by Falsefield, Time Lord 2. I brought in your friends to say goodbye, Jamie. I'll switch this thing off, Zoe. You can't, we can't say goodbye for a Falsefield, Doctor. Time Lord 2. Very well, we'll leave you together for a little while, Doctor. Oh, thank you. Falsefield disappears and Time Lord leaves, Doctor. Jamie, Zoe, Doctor, Zoe, Zoe, Doctor. Jamie, what are you going to do? What are they going to do to you? Doctor, not very much. I expect they'll make me listen to the long, boring speech. Better being a good boy. Uh, they like making speeches, Zoe. Well, I think it's time you left them again. Doctor, well, that is easier said than done. Doctor, oh, come. We've been in like tight situations this chapter. Well, you don't know well you don't know the time lords, Jamie, do I do. Sorry. Oh, you're not going to give up then you're not gonna give up, are you do doctor? Jamie, of course he's not. Are you, doctor, huh? Doctor, well, all right. But we might find it diff difficult getting out of here. Jamie, hey, you've forgotten to switch that thing back on again, doctor, forgotten. Say, well that that's all we need, isn't it? Now we can get away, Doctor. Yes, of course. Jamie, come out. Come on, the Doctor, Jamie and Zoe pick their way through the area of the square pools amidst to Syriac Bay. Time number three. There's no escape, Doctor. Jamie runs up against the force field. Time number three. It's time to say goodbye to your friends. Zoe, you must be something we can do. Doctor, no, Zoe. Not this time. Well, goodbye, Jamie. Jamie, but Doctor, surely we could... Doctor, goodbye, Jamie. Jamie, I don't, I won't forget you, no. Doctor, I won't forget you. Don't go blundering into too much trouble, will you? Doctor, Jamie, aye, you'll find one to talk. Doctor, goodbye, Zoe. Zoe, goodbye, Doctor. Will we ever meet again, Doctor, again? Now, Zoe. You and I know me. No time is relative, isn't it? Zoe and Zoe are led into Surrey. They wave and go inside. It materializes. Doctor, they forgot me. Well, they'll forget me, won't they? Time Lord 2, not entirely. They returned to time before they went away with you. They remember their first adventures with you. Nothing more, but come along. Your fate has been decided. Will and space. A doctor watches the trial chamber with screen. It's confused Zoe, walks down a corridor. Tanya, oh Zoe, Zoe, you're right. Zoe, oh yes, Tanya. Are you doc are the doctor and Jamie gone? Zoe, yes, I've seen them off. Tanya, well, we'd better get back to work. You know, it's a bit, a lot, there's a lot to do if we're going to get the wheels back to normal. Are you sure you're right? So, yes, I thought, I've, I've, I've forgotten something important, but it's nothing. Tanya, right, come along then. Zoe, all right, I'm coming. Troll chamber. On the screen, Zoe looks back and the image fades. Zoe, doctor, she'll be right, won't she? Tanya, Lord, of course. Doctor, what about Jamie? Oh, Lord, free luck. Cullum and Moore, pipes of skim, skirt, skirting his red coats, aims his musket at Jamie's back. At Jamie's back, he turns and drops just as the soldier dries. Jamie, try to murder him, McCrevin, would you? I'll show you. Craig the tour. Jamie charges his red coat, swinging his sword. A man tries to reload. Soldier wisely gives up and flees. Troll chamber. Time Lord, they both continue the lies as if nothing had happened, Doctor. Yes, very efficient. But now then, what about me? Time Lord, we've accepted your plea. There is evil in the universe that must be fought, and, is it, and you still have a part to play in that battle. Doctor, what? You mean you're going to let me go free? Time Lord, not entirely. We've noted a particular interest in the planet Earth. Frequency of visits must have given you special knowledge. Oh, well... That world is not a problem, Doctor. So I suppose that's true. It does seem very more vulnerable than others, yes. Time Lord, for the re that reason, you will be sent back to that planet. Doctor, oh, oh good. 
Time Lord in exile. Doctor in exile? Time Lord, you were sent to Earth in the twentieth century. Remain there as long as we deem proper. For at that period, the secret of the TARDIS will be taken from you. Doctor, but you, you can't condemn me to exile, a primitive planet in one century in time. Besides, unknown on Earth, it might be very awkward for me. Time Lord, your appearance has changed before. It will change again. This is part of the sentence. Doctor, you can't change what I look like without consulting me. Time Lord, you have the opportunity to choose your appearance. Time Lord, oh well, that's not too bad. But I warn you, I'm very peculiar. Particular. Time Lord, here is your first choice. A man with a big bushy beard, followed by other sketches. Doctor, he's too old. He's too fat, isn't he? No, he's too thin. That one's too young. Oh, now. That won't do at all. It's ridiculous. Time Lord, you're wasting the time, Doctor. Doctor, it's not my fault, is it? Is this the best you can do? I've never seen such an incredible bunch. Time Lord, since you refuse to take the decision, the decision would be taken for you. Doctor, oh no. I never said that. But I maintain I had the right to decide what I look like. It could be very important that Earth people on Earth attract a very great deal of importance. Doctor's face is beginning to twist and change. Doctor, ah, oh, what's happening? We're treated to multiple images of the Patrick Fulton playing the Doctor, gurning as they circle around. Doctor, what's happening? What's happened? Time of the time has come. For you to change your appearance, Doctor. Again, your exile. Doctor, is this some sort of joke? No, I refuse to be treated in. What are you doing? The Doctor's face disappears. Doctor, no, stop. You're making me giddy. No, you can't do this to me. No, 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 no. That was the last series of Patrick Fulton as the Doctor. The next season will be John Pertwee as the Doctor. Thank you for listening to this, the whole season of Doctor Who with Patrick Fulton as the Doctor.